Has anyone else been watching Catfish? That show is fucking crazy. So the first episode that I caught was a chick named Kim who had a boyfriend and a nigga on the side from the internet. And I wasn't like really surprised that he was a fat dude, but I was surprised that that's why he didn't talk to her. Cause this bitch wasn't small. But the second one I seen was fucking crazy. So this chick Jasmine, she has a child, but for some reason, she is worried about this nigga on Facebook for two years. Then we find out that they never talked before and that they live 15 minutes away from each other. It was just a lot. I felt, I felt bad for her cause like, damn bitch, you a mom and you worried about this nigga on Facebook for two years and it turned out to be this bitch with fucked up makeup, like god damn. What a fucked up twist of events. And the worst part about it is she came out trying to act like she was that bitch. And really, she looked like that psychopath. Bitch, you just as boring as her. You just as whack as her. You just as whack. Like, for real, two years? That ain't no prank, bitch. That was your life. Get out of here. All these people talking about Jasmine need to worry about her baby. Well, yes. But really, Missy... I don't give a fuck what had happened to you, bitch. You crazy for that shit. You crazy. And any bitch that agree with that bitch is psycho as fuck. Oh, my God. Get some help. Get some help. Really. Seek counseling. Because that is not a prank. A prank don't last two years. Point blank. A prank don't last two years. Especially you talking to this bitch. On, you talking to this bitch so much that this bitch caught feelings for you. You texting this bitch and shit. Like, like what the fuck? You are, like, mm. and that just leads me to my point. Please, people, use your heads. Use your fucking head. If you talking to somebody on the internet and they can't even talk to you on a live video, all this technology we got, don't trust them. And girls be hitting me up, too, all the time, be like, talking to a dude for months and be like, I don't know how to tell my boyfriend that lives across the country that I'm fat and we about to meet up. Like when did you, I don't even, like how, I don't even, how do you talk to somebody online and you don't show them you and y'all dating? Like I don't even, honestly, before I date a nigga, I want to see his toes to, the, to his scalp. I want to see all of it. I want to see everything. I want to see the moles. I want to see the booty. I want to see the, the heels. It's everything. I want to see it all. Men and women. All y'all. I want to see it all, okay? No matter who I'm with. I want to see you, especially long distance. I want to see you. Let me see. All these people talking about they don't want to Skype. Red flag. Red flag on the play. Because really, Skype is a free download. I don't know how in the fuck you could say that you don't fuck with Skype. Like, unless you don't got a home computer, you at the library. But true, see, the library done upgraded recently in my hometown. And my hometown ain't really that, you know, it's not really on the up and up. So, I, I know it's out there. I know you could Skype from the library. At least voice. Get a voice verification or some shit. I don't fucking know. Like... I don't know how you dating somebody and you never seen them before. Catfish is crazy. I'm excited to see more. And truthy, I got a crush on Neve. So Neve, if you see this, holla at a player. Neve, if you see this, I feel like you like black women's. I don't know. Every time you got a black clientele, you know, I see you lusting after our flesh. It could be the weave. I don't know. But... But Missy looked a mess. That's what, you know what? And right now the lighting on my hair ain't really too flattering. But I'm going to keep it fucking true right now. That bitch's weave was like, how the fuck you going to give me Amber from Clueless on top? And fucking magenta eyebrows. Bitch, get the fuck out of here. Bad for, I felt bad for Jasmine. I really did feel bad for her. Because, I mean, at first she, she's obviously simple. She's obviously simple. Um, you you can't you can't be nothing other than simple for that to have happened to you. I'm sorry to say that, but that's a simple fucking plot. Like I, like honestly, I've had people claim that they were that they had companies. I've had people pretend like they came hard too. They had an email address. 
that they made up. They had a fake business that they made up. But when I checked the facts, there were none. There was nothing to check. So as a cautious type bitch, I'm just like, wow, Jasmine, you ought to be kind of... Because... I just don't even know how the fuck they ran game on you like that. And and Missy, bitch, bitch, <laughs> something ain't right. I don't know. Seek counseling. Seek counseling and get yourself together, boo-boo. But anyways, I'm going to be going to California <laughs> so soon. <laughs> I can't even wait. And um. I don't know. I'm actually just really excited. I really, right now, I feel like this is my moment for life. Like, right now, I feel like Nicki Minaj. Oh, and I want to show you guys. Oh, yes. Okay, so I bought these corduroy shoes, and I thought they were hella ugly, so I, then I stylized them. Do y'all like these? Yes. You get into, get into the whole shoe, though. Get into the whole shoe. Yes, bitch. I don't know. I really like this. Get into it, though. Get into this fucking shoe. I think it's gonna look cruel when I when I really style it. You know, when I style it, when I put when I put more flavor on it. But anyways. Thank you for fucking with me, for real. Thank you for watching these videos. You know, I, I come out here and I just try to say what's up to all my people out there. And really, you know what? I live my life and I keep you guys in mind because I really I know that somebody out there wants to get the fuck out of wherever the fuck they're at and maybe seeing me get the fuck out the and maybe seeing me do something that I'm I'm loving to do you'll do something that you're loving to do because I don't know I always wanted to just go I always wanted to leave I was never content I'm never content I always want more and I don't know. I just, I feel like, I don't know. I feel good. I feel really good. I just feel like soon I will get what I want. And I don't know what it is yet, but like, I'll figure it out. I hope. I hope I will. I hope I figure out what I want. I don't know yet, but I'm excited. And I'm optimistic and I'm just, I'm so excited because I just feel like I have so much stuff going on. And so much potential. So, take care. Uh, be inspired and do what you want to do. And just try. Just try to do something. And even if you fuck up and you fail, then try again. But try. Because for a long time I just didn't try anything. So, take care though. Alright, I'll see you guys later.